Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another declutter for you. This is going to be my cream shadows, my shadow sticks and also my eye primers. So let's have a quick look. So I have these two little ones from Wet n Wild. They are really nice but to be honest I've never really reached for them. So I probably should pass them along so someone else can use them. I have two of the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. This is a little sample. Just really good to take away and I've got the full size. I love this, I'm definitely keeping it. I have a couple more little samples here. I've got Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've not tried this yet, so I want to keep that. I have the Air Patrol from Benefit. That's actually quite nice, so I definitely want to keep that sample. And then I have this little one from I Heart Makeup. It is actually a really nice primer. Um, and obviously it is only little, so I think I'm going to keep this one. I've then got two big ones here from I Heart Makeup. Um, I think they're both the same, so I'm just going to swatch them and see if they're different colours or why it, what's different between them. Okay, so they're both basically the same one, just slightly darker in shade. But I have a lot of eye primers, so I'm actually going to pass these two both along. I then have this one from Essence. I've not tried it, so I definitely want to give that one a go. I have one of the Aqua Seals from Makeup Revolution, so I want to keep this because it's really good for the foil shadows they have and also the pigments. I then have one from MUA. This is one of my absolute favourite eyeshadow primers, so I'm definitely keeping this. I then have the one from Makeup Revolution. Again, this is a really good one, so I want to keep this too. I then have three from e.l.f. One of them is in the shade Champagne. This one's sort of a glitter primer eyeshadow and then this is the darker one. I'm just going to swatch those and just see whether it's worth keeping any of them. Okay so there's the three of them swatched. They are really nice. I do like the e.l.f. primer but to be honest I've got a lot of um, eyeshadow primers so I should probably just pass these ones along. I've then got this one from Avon, it's like a liquid one, um, I've never used it, I just thought it would be really nice, but to be honest I just have so many products it's really difficult to try them, um, but I think I'll put this in sort of a to try section so that I keep it at the forefront and I'll try and use this, if not I'll pass it along before the end of the series. Okay, so the pink shade here, I don't think I'd ever use that so I'm going to pass that one along. The peach is sort of a really good base so I definitely want to keep that. The silver is really, really pretty and pigmented, and the bronzy shade here is really nice also. So, but I'm going to pass along this gold one um, because I don't really see why I'd need a gold sort of base. So, there's two going along. I then have one here from Max Factor, which is sort of purple on one side and then silver on the other. It's really nice for a sort of smoky eye effect. Um, I just don't really reach for cream products that often unless it's a base. So I think I'm going to pass this one along. I then have this one from Rimmel the Scandalize. It's a really pretty purple. Um, sometimes I do just like purple on the lid because it's one of my favourite colours so I'm going to keep that. So I have the NYX one in Milk. I'm going to keep this it's really good to make sort of bright colours really pop. And then I have this one from Kiko which is in a bronze shade. It's really nice. I'm definitely going to keep this. Then I have the ones in pots. I've got lots of the little aqua seals here because of the foil shadows, so I'm going to keep those. And then going to the foil shadows from Makeup Revolution, I have rose gold, copper, sorry, magnificent copper, pure platinum, and black diamond. These are all stunning, so I'm definitely keeping them. I do actually have three MAC Paint Pots. I've got Soft Ochre, but that's kept aside at the moment for a dupes video I'm going to be doing. It may already be up, so you might have already seen it. Um, but I've got Painterly, and then I've got this purple one, which is really nice, but I just it's too deep a colour and I don't really reach for it, so I think I might actually pass this one along. And I'm going to keep Painterly and Soft Ochre. I have this lighter purple from Estee Lauder, which is absolutely stunning, so I'm going to keep this one. I then have a Steva Smudge Pot in Kitten. I didn't actually realise this was an eyeliner, or it's meant to be, but I mainly use this as a base, and it is really nice. 
And I've got this new one from Avon recently, which is in the shade Glistening Steel. It's a really pretty colour. And then got one from Topshop, which is in the shade Strict, which is a really nice base colour. I need to give that one a go. I then have a few um, Maybelline colour tattoos. Again, one of these I got recently in Cream Nude, I think it is. Um, that one's actually up there in the dupe. Um, so sneak peek or a little bit late on that one. Um, I've also got this one here which is Metallic Pomegranate. This is absolutely gorgeous. I have this creamy beige. I have Beijing Beauty. Eternal Gold. On and on bronze. And gold these are absolutely stunning but I don't reach them that often so I feel like I should get rid of a couple of them so let me just have a quick look at a couple of these shades okay so the creamy beige is kind of similar to the um, nude one I got recently so I think I'm gonna pass this one along so that's everything guys so I'm getting rid of that's everything guys so I'm getting rid of 12 in total which I think is pretty good um, I really tried my best throughout this and it is really really hard because I absolutely love makeup and that's obviously why I have so much. But that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.